Debbie, I, I will start with you. Let's just keep it broad to begin with. Should we have drag queens in schools? No. Go on then. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, drag, queen, drag, drag queens are adult entertainers, and it's inappropriate to bring adult entertainers who are performing in role in schools. Schools are there for children to learn. They're there to learn their maths, their English, their science, not to uh, be listening to drag queens who are, as I said, performing in role in school. Mm. OK, Peter, I'll bring you into it now. Should we have drag queens in schools? Peter Tatchell. Well, my view is whatever works best, whatever helps children engage with lessons and reading is a fantastic thing. And these drag queen storytellers are actually encouraging on people to pick up books and to start reading. Now, the feedback I've heard from many schools is that when their mainstream everyday teachers do this, the, the kids don't pay much attention. But when the drag queen comes in and does it, the kids are riveted. They listen, they learn, and they get reading. So I think if we can encourage young kids to read more, that is a brilliant, brilliant thing. I think, uh, yeah, I mean, I think that there is a question between just bringing a child's attention to something. I mean, to be fair, Peter, if I was an 11-year-old and I, uh, one day I arrived at school and my form tutor said, you know, here's a drag queen and they are going to depict, and I'm quoting now, graphic, disproportionate, indecent presentation of sexual acts and gender identities. I mean, I, 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 they would pique my interest, but the question is whether or not that should be taught to kids, Peter, and done in that way. Well, of course, relationship with sex education should be age appropriate. And the purpose of this education is to try and combat the unacceptably high levels of teenage pregnancies, abortions and HIV, and to safeguard kids against sexual abuse. You know, kids need to know the age of consent is 16, sex below that age is unlawful, but if they're going to have sex, they shouldn't, but if they do, do it safely and carefully with respect to their selves and their partners. Now, this whole issue is always driven by a desire to, for the welfare and well-being of young kids. We know that in schools and countries that don't do this kind of education, they have much higher levels of teenage pregnancies and abortions. And just, we don't want that on our kids. Just, OK, Peter, I'll, I'll, I'll come back to that. I, I want to bring Debbie back in now. Just from, from what Peter said there, it's, he said it seems to be always driven for the welfare of the children. But that appears to be the opposite of what a lot of parents are saying, which is, actually, I, I don't want my child to be exposed to quite graphic sexualized content by a man dressed as a woman at school. And uh, I just wonder, could it damage children's welfare? Well, yes, it could. Uh, what, what amazes me is that uh, schools are bringing in external people who are not trained teachers, who are not trained uh, uh, educators, to be, teaching, to be teaching children something quite profound about sex education. Whenever, as a teacher, you bring a visitor into school, you have to be very careful about what, what that person is going to, is going to teach the children. Uh, sex education is something which should be taught by teachers, not by people brought in. And picking up Peter's other point about getting children engaged in reading, that is a completely separate issue. Why aren't we bringing police officers into school, engineers, carpenters, firefighters, mm. those sort of people can come in and role and act as role models to children. Far better role model than an adult entertainer, I'd, I'd suggest. Peter, I've got to be honest with you, I question, I do question the motives of a fully grown man wanting to dress up as a woman and go into a, uh, I don't know, a, a school, sometimes primary schools, and do a quite sexualised show. I, I, I don't think that's normal, Peter. Well, can I assure you that these drag storytellers do not normally talk about sex at all. They simply encourage young people to pick up books and read, and they read stories with them and encourage them to carry on reading. There's no sex whatsoever. This particular case is exceptional and unusual. And we, we don't know the full details. We don't know exactly what was said or precisely what was involved. But what we do probably suspect is that the young people may have asked questions. And I suspect that's what's happened. And then the drag performer felt obliged to answer their questions, being honest and upfront. I mean, if the, if the person had said, I'm refusing to answer, that would have been also very wrong. So I think it's, it's, we don't know the full details. That's the point. 
Do, do you do, just just seriously though, Pizza? Genuinely, do, do you not think that there might actually be a massive safeguarding issue here? I mean, just just looking at it on paper, right? If you know, given the health and safety that goes around at schools at the minute, you're planning a school trip. I'm sorry, but you know, if someone just floated to you the idea of, you know, Gary's going to turn up in a dress here with a load of slap on and sit down with primary school age children, potentially or ten and eleven year olds, and potentially talk about certain sex acts that I'm not sure I can mention at this time, so I won't. You wouldn't... You shouldn't really let that happen, Peter, surely. Well, this was at a secondary school. There were 11. And I believe that most of the pupils were aged 16, 17 and 18. So they were not young kids. This is year um, seven. As I said, I suspect that the young people asked questions. They were curious. They wanted to know about oh. certain things. Okay. But I agree, um, we shouldn't be sexualizing kids. We oh. shouldn't be... Um, teaching things that are inappropriate and in this particular case which i think is exceptional maybe the boundaries were overstepped but i would say this everybody who goes into a school including me has mm. to be checked we mm. get a criminal record check we get other checks done okay. very thorough we have, to, we have to sign a declaration of the rules of engagement within the school and what we say is monitored by the teachers and anything that okay. goes wrong be stopped but i've never i've oh. never once had a complaint by a pupil a parent or a teacher okay well, debbie I'll, I'll i'll bring you into this now i, I just wonder you know is this is this a desire maybe to i don't know appease certain elements of of the woke brigade and they decided to do it i mean look you are you are a, a, a teacher i mean i mean is this a good learning device maybe maybe i'm sitting here now being incredibly bigoted and outdated and thinking you know I, just because i wasn't taught by a drag queen doesn't mean that other kids can't be taught by a drag queen debbie it's, it's just completely inappropriate i don't know who came up with the idea it's madness <laughs> Uh, if we're wanting to, uh, if we're wanting to give children role models, there are lots of good role mm. models for children to have. As I said, doctors, engineers, carpenters, you can bring those people into school. They can read to children and perhaps tell them about the work that they do. Uh, but somebody somewhere decided that drag queens was, 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 was do a, you, good, a good, do you think, Debbie, I don't understand it. Debbie, do you think someone was too afraid to say no to it, though? This is the thing. Do you think someone's floated it and they've thought, oh, good grief, you know, I don't really want this, but I'm going to be called, a, I'm going to be called all sorts of names. And, it's, and actually, it, what's happened is that we've have got, now got drag queens in schools. Yeah, well, everybody wants, well, people want to feel as if they're a good person. And, and at some point, it's been decided that bringing drag queens into schools is, is something that good people do. So that when, when others stand against that, uh, they, they then, yes, they, they, they uh, fear the consequences and the reaction. I just, I mean, I, 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 just, yeah, maybe, go on, Peter, go on. Can I, can I, just, can I just say that um, from the research that I've seen, um, when schools bring in external speakers on specialist subjects, they tend to have a much higher engagement from yeah, people. Yeah, I, Peter, I get that. But I had, I had, I had a woman who climbed Mount Everest come into my school, right? That was, that was, that was fascinating. That was gripping. I think we had an ex-footballer. I think we had somebody who served in the military or something like that. I mean, if, it's the only way. Is our education system crumbled to the plumbing the depths now where we've got, we, we've got teachers out on strike and the, and the only solution that we can come up with to boost uh, pupil engagement is to, is to bring up someone who moonlights in Soho on Saturday evenings. Well, not Patrick, what works? That's all, that, what, what, what I care about is what works and providing children are protected. We should try anything. Providing, right. providing children are not harmed or their welfare is not damaged, we should try anything. And as I said, most of these talks have nothing, there's no sexual content at all. This is an exceptional, unusual example. I wouldn't support it, but I do think that generally drag queen storytelling is a very effective way to encourage kids to read. Debbie, final, final one to you. I just want to focus a bit more on some of the content that's been de delivered here, apparently, and things about certain, like, how skin grafts can be used to enhance certain parts of the body, etc. Um, look, should, should, should just even the subject matter, forget who's teaching it, should that kind of subject matter be being taught to kids, do you think? Not necessary to general classes of children. children. Children need to be taught maths, English, science. That's what children should be taught. Uh, children who are asking specific questions then... Uh, experts can answer those questions, but not in a whole class setting. It's a very risky environment to start getting involved in topics like that. All right, look, both of you, thank you very much.